All right, Kaipo, back down on the beach here at the 2010 Jerry Lopez Rainbow Sandals Battle of the Paddle. I'm here with Mr. Todd Bradley, one of the co-founders of C4 Waterman. And uh, Todd also coming from quite a paddling pedigree, one of the top uh, uh, paddling coaches as well as steersmen in the outrigger world. And uh, Todd actually started off making some of the first carbon fiber paddles made specifically for um, stand-up paddling. I remember at one time, it, you know, if you didn't go to you, where else would you get these There was no other paddles around. Yeah, it's just amazing to see where the sport has gone. I was just walking down here, just like, gung, 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 gobsmacked. Um, just seeing, I remember the first races that Archie did and the first white high runs and, you know, the whole the whole beginning of this when it was just like, hey, check out the sport, it's kind of cool. And, uh, and, uh, and here we are with New vendors, new board manufacturers, uh, paddle manufacturers. It's really exciting to see, you know? Talk a little bit about C4 Waterman and your company there, which, what you guys are doing at C4 Waterman. Well, you know, uh, being pretty much the first stand-up company in the world uh, back years ago and developing stuff with Brian Kelana, Archie Kaleppa, Dave Parmanner, all those guys, it's... Um, um, we just, we, we tried to uh, create events in the early days that would create interest in the sport and I'm so happy that Rainbow has gotten involved with Quicksilver. But, you know, the early days was really fun, you know, and just like it is right now, developing new products, all these people pushing the edge, getting more people excited, it's really awesome. And, um, you know, for us, um, we just got back from Colorado. I mean, we just got back from Colorado three days ago where we put on a similar event like this in Vail, Colorado. Wow. And um, we had, uh, the event itself was more of a all around water sports, mountain sports event in Vail, Colorado with mountain biking and kayaking and everything else. Well, it was the first time ever to have a stand-up venue. And, um, you know, 50,000 people in Vail, um, just like this, turning people on to the sport for the first time. It was really exciting to get in the rivers. And uh, as Archie Kleppa says, we went Malka. Yeah, we went Malka. So very interesting. From the birthplace here at Waikiki of stand-up paddling. Yep. And it's extended all the way up to the rivers in uh, Vail, Colorado. Yep, yep. So, uh, you know, we're... Uh, we're um, back in the warm weather. It was the water was 37 degrees four days ago that we were in, and um, nice to be back in our warm water here. Right on top. We'll look forward to seeing you race later on today. Thanks, buddy. Well, you'll see my son. Well, okay. I'm handing the keys to the young. Okay, the, the torch is getting passed to the next generation. That's it. Christian Bradley. See you yeah, racing. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Maybe somebody from.